Greetings to you, preppers. We always want to keep an eye on price rises, inflation, shortages, so we can be ready. Let's jump into today's article. No, not again. From NerdWallet, egg prices are rising again. Why are they so expensive? And you'll see this right away, by the way. The cost of eggs is up again due to, in part, a resurgence of bird flu affecting egg-laying hens. Yeah. We have chickens. I have so many friends who have chickens. I know people who work in the corporations of selling eggs to big stores. And this whole thing, in my opinion anyway, is blown out of proportion. It's just another way they're doing food control. But either way, we're going to see problems with this. Let's look back at that article. The average cost of eggs went up a little bit, 252 in January, up from 251 in December. However, we saw a 3.4% increase from December to January. And I'm sure you remember the month-to-month -month increase is nothing compared to what it was in December 2022, and we saw major increases at that time. And that, of course, is what we're worried about because, oh my gosh, eggs were so, so ridiculously expensive. Is that where we're heading again? I am a graph guy, and if you're not a graph person, I really strongly advise you start looking at graphs because they really show you trends, trends, trends. So we can see just a gradual increase up to 2015, then it kind of came sporadic, and then, oh yeah, there it is, boom, going way up, up to 42 a dozen of eggs, that's crazy, in January of 2023. And we see a decrease, that's good, that's what we've seen over the last few months. But look, we see this little edge coming up right here. Does that mean the price is going to keep going up? You need to look at this. When you see this trend right here, this is what we have to take a look at. Because when you look at the bottom line or baseline of the trend, even though we had this huge spike, it still sees an increase right here. And if we see it continue this way, then we're definitely going to see a big rise in egg prices going up to maybe $3 a dozen before this summer sets in, maybe even more. And that's what we have to look at. So I'll link below if you want to get some powdered eggs. That's one option. I always recommend, very much so, by the way, if you can have some hens in your backyard. I know when I lived in Florida, we lived in the city, there was a uh, law that you couldn't have hens unless they were actually far enough away from a neighbor's property. And we, we, we worked for us. So we had a whole bunch of hens there and had eggs right in the middle of the city. It was awesome. How about you? Put in the comments below. Are you allowed to have chickens or hens in your neighborhood? A lot of times they don't have roosters, but that's not simply just having hens. We can prepare so many other ways. You can take eggs, crack them, and freeze them. Grand, you can only make like scrambled eggs or bake with them afterwards. That Beyond that, that's not really good for anything. Or again, you can get powdered eggs, which I'll link below. Lots of options. You can water glass eggs, maybe 18 months for a lifespan on that. But let's jump back in the article. I want to show you something else. So again, we know they're expensive because of this supposed widespread outbreak of the H5N1. It's an avian flu or what we just call a bird flu. I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but I think they're exaggerating it. And we had a short relief from that as well, but it was short-lived. And now we're seeing prices rising again. But here's the nuts and bolts. There's an egg shortage because of the ongoing bird flu outbreak. It has reduced the number of egg-laying chickens. And most of the birds affected were egg layers. So it doesn't matter if you believe the bird flu is happening or how catastrophic it really is. Ultimately, it comes down to this. There are many, many chickens called. We have less hens laying eggs now. Egg prices are going up, up, up. And we're going to start seeing shortages again. That's why we have this channel. We want to be able to stay ahead of these things so we are ready and we can prep accordingly. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow.